Iowa State to State, and we're watching the, the Red, Red Booth. Booth. Hi, welcome to the Red Booth Show. I'm Kimberly. On tonight's episode, I have a wonderful band called State to State. They have some amazing new music videos, and they also are going to be playing at the Echo next weekend. So come and join us. So welcome to the show. This is State to State. How's it going, guys? Very well. Thank Great. you for having, us. for having us. Yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to have you on the show for a while. I love your music. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, we were like two passing ships, but here we are. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, especially when you're a band, you guys have all these different events and things you have to sort of arrange for, right? So uh, scheduling is is always tricky with bands. But well, we also weren't sure we were going to fit in the booth, so. Oh. <laughs> well, we definitely fit, and I'm, I'm happy you guys are here. And you were in Hawaii recently, right? Yep. Yeah. That's, Did you bring uh, the band, or you just went by yourself? No, no. I, I, I don't take them to Hawaii with oh, me. Oh, no. man. We, we, we embarrass them too much. <laughs> So why don't we have you guys introduce yourself, starting from you, Shay. I'm Shay. I sing and play guitar. I'm Patrick. I play bass. I'm Andrew. I play guitar and make some noises. I'm Filder. I play drums. So your name is so unusual, obviously, because you're from another country. Do you well, want to yeah. tell us where you're from? Yeah, I'm from Russia, from Moscow. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Ruskies in my booth. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. In your red booth. That's, in a red booth. That's yeah. right. I feel so comfortable. This is like your homeland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's your very, homeland very color, home. right? Very appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how, when did you guys first start the band? Well, uh, I moved from San Diego to LA in what 2008, I want to say, and then I met Andrew on uh, Craigslist. Craigslist. Casual encounters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, or was, it, or was it misconnections? <laughs> it was misconnections. We, we we saw each other in like a bank. You had no, that failure shirt on. We uh, we started via Craigslist and then slowly but surely added some people and then people came and went. Uh, Patrick got Fedor about, just about over a year ago. Year and a half. Year and a half? Yeah. yeah. I was just sitting at home in Russia, you know, scratching my pet bear, drinking vodka, you know, <laughs> and a postman knocks Were you in at the my snow? door. Of course. Yes. Of course. We're in Russia, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a postman, postman comes and he's saying, uh, there's a band from the United States. They want, they want a mail order you. So, you know, I'm like, yeah, great success. You know, finally I made it. So, so he's a mail order drummer. Yeah, just nice. UPS. God bless UPS. <laughs> his, his spirit animal is also Bo Rat. Bo Rat. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a nice. Uh, it's a nice. That's very nice. Very yeah. nice. Okay. <laughs> and you, what's your story? Uh, I was in another band and I saw them and I liked them. And, uh, you ditched the other we band. Were the, we were the mistress. And uh, and I auditioned for the, the other, band other actually. Woman. And I went and they said here learn the rest of the album. The day before I was coming back for another audition, he goes oh we're gonna hire a friend. I was like you want to be a friend. <laughs> so I didn't think of them for like a good you know year or so. And then I just went online one day when I was at work and I was wondering what state state's doing and went on. I was like oh went to went to lunch and this guy comes up and goes are you Patrick? The very day I just looked at it, it's like yeah. He goes this is Shay. Wow. State to state, we might need you. And it was just like I didn't think of them nothing. I, like I conjured it at lunch. It's like went you guys, to lunch. It's like you guys knew. It yeah. was meant to be. It was it was kismet. Kind of cool. So then That's we finally awesome. gave in and let him in. Yeah, after <laughs> me. Come on, guys! Out there with the radio. Out there playing the radio outside the window, like. Same thing. Yeah, that, is that the movie? John Cusack. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, so. Insert picture of John Cusack. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> so when did State to State officially start? Like, it was just, you guys, or did you have State to State before? We, we put out our first LP in, in 2014. We, okay. we tried to finagle around some things before then, but officially I would say that's the start of the band. So. Yeah, I mean, Andrew and I kind of toiled for a couple of years, just the two of us doing just duo stuff like I'd play acoustic guitar and he'd have his full you know Starship Enterprise effects and making all the noise and it was just the two of us doing that kind of thing and which was a lot of fun but slowly but surely we scratched away and, and filled out the band and that's awesome yeah it hasn't been easy sledding the entire time you know people came and went but uh, yeah, here we are and, and we're happy so that's a lot that really matters well, that's very exciting. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with State to State. And welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with the band State to State. How's it going, guys? Going good, good so far. Awesome. awesome. Well, I like I said, I really love your music, and there's a couple music videos you guys already have out right now, but there's one that's called My Little Phony is, is the name of it. That's mm-hmm. it. That's, that's pretty one. cool. 
Also, there's another one called Arms, which we could actually play just a couple clips from from each of them if you'd like. That would be. Um, but I I was thinking maybe you could like talk about My Little Phony first. <clears throat> well, My Little Phony, I wrote uh, basically with a narrative about some Bronies? person. Just kidding. Exactly. <laughs> just somebody who kind of had been around the scene for a long time and became irrelevant, so therefore making themselves relevant by showing up every single night and basically pouring cocaine on tables and being the life of the party that way. Uh, yeah, obviously, it's a narrative that I have nothing to do with because I'm strictly Disney kind of kids. So. <laughs> no, it's just, it's, it's, I, I tend to like to write with narratives, not necessarily. Some songs are very personal, but a lot of it is just being able to step out and putting myself into the shoes of, of, of a character that I kind of just, made up. Yeah. So you hadn't run across somebody like that? Oh yeah. I mean, I run, I mean, we live in Los Angeles. Yeah. So we run <laughs> exactly. across them every day. <laughs> so you wrote the song and then how does the instrumental come together? Like who, how do you guys collaborate on that? Well, basically I write the song recorded on my phone and the voice memos send them in text messages and, and if I get a response, I know I'm onto something. If I don't, then I just keep sending it until they respond. <laughs> we have thousands. No, then it just bring it to the room, and those those the guys, if if they care, they come with an idea of what they want to do, and they always do. So, uh, and then it just kind of materializes through just playing it and kind of just working it out. And it usually is actually pretty pretty easy. I think, for the most part. And even when we get to a place where we're kind of stumped, oh, we need to write a bridge, or like this, you know, the third part, the song within the song, and we have no ideas, all of a sudden it just kind of stumbles on it. It's, so, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty good system thus far. The so. writing music part we've got okay, it's just all the other stuff we got. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What's all the other stuff? Oh, just, I mean, t with today's, you know, music social world, media. there's so many other different aspects of things, mostly social media, that yeah, you have to keep up with. We've been told yeah. we have to have a band Snapchat. <laughs> a band Snapchat, that's just asinine to me. And we do this face swap uh, and I'm, get all the like, face swap and all those things. I'm, a, I'm yeah. a dinosaur, so sorry, I'll catch up I don't eventually. Like Snapchat. We don't need to send secret pictures to anybody, so we don't need <laughs> a band Snapchat. I think Snapchat has evolved quite a lot into, <laughs> uh, yeah, but <laughs> it has very interesting beginnings. <laughs> yeah. I got really good at uh, MySpace, and then they... Dude, <laughs> I totally that. loved MySpace. Yeah. You could create your own page. You could, like, program yeah, it. Yeah, like, and pimped you could code out it. by think, supposedly it's yeah. still going, right? It's, it? Oh, yeah. Somebody sorry, MySpace. It. Somebody still it. One. Yeah. Well, um, let's play a clip of My Little Phony for these guys so that they can get to hear your amazing stuff. Okay, well, I really love that song, and I think that's a great music video. Um, why don't you tell us a bit about, you know, what inspired the music video? Uh, well, the video wasn't my idea. That was actually all <laughs> Shay's uh, doing, but essentially... <laughs> <to> Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Shay doesn't want to talk anymore, so I'm going to have to handle this one. Uh, basically, it's, it's about somebody who's clearly um, struggling with their own inner demons, and they've got this light inside that is sort of burning out, um, and they're trying to protect it. And so the video is sort of based around that whole concept. The star of that video is my very talented roommate, Michael Collins. Really? And he's, uh, I have an idea for, for future videos when we actually have narratives and people in it, not just 
like the arms video Andrew made, and he did an amazing job with that. But nice. I want to do like an American Horror Story thing where all the characters are recurring and they take on different roles. So he's and the, the two, star of that. And the two thugs that beat him up at the end are me and, and Theodore. That's awesome. Except he doesn't remember because it's me. Because it's worse. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, he wow. drinks a lot. <laughs> well, on that note, we have to take a quick that's break. Right, it was you. He goes him. <laughs> Let the star talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the star. You guys are the stars. We'll be right back with State to State. <laughs> Welcome back to the Red Booth Show. We are here with the band State to State. How's it going, guys? Very well. Awesome. Very well. Very cool. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I think it would be great to tell everybody where they can see you perform next. Well, we are playing at the Echo, opening for Poster Children on Wednesday, October 12th, 9 p.m. That's right. So that's coming up. You can get tickets to the show, statetostateband.com. Uh, there's links to everything else, Facebook, MySpace. Which show? <laughs> October 12th. Where? The Echo. Oh. <laughs> that's right. So that's a great place. That's a great venue here in Los Angeles. So everybody should definitely go and check out the show at The Echo with State to State and enjoy the ambiance, the rock and roll ambiance. Yes, that's right. Now, I know each of you has your own story as a musician, and we don't have enough time for me to ask you all the questions that I would probably want to ask you about yourself each individually, but I still think it would be cool to tell a little bit about you and how you got into music. So, I got into music because my dad was a, a singer and guitar player in a band with his brother back in the 70s and 80s, and uh, nice. he handed me down his guitar, and I just... It just took off from there. What kind of music did he do? Uh, it was it was rock and roll. He was a big fan of uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Steely Dan, all that kind of stuff. That's really cool. And what about you? I just formed a band in high school, with some friends, and I picked bass because I saw someone in the jazz band playing bass. And just uh, been bands from Detroit and moved to California. And just always that's I had no choice. I had to. I just wanted to be in the rhythm section. So Detroit yeah. Rock City, right? Yeah, oh yeah, big Kiss fan when I was little. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Kiss was one of the main bands that, when I was little that I just loved. So Really? So they're part of your inspiration? <laughs> sure. That's awesome. Well, and what about you? Uh, for me, it was uh, also my father. He was just a, a music lover and, and also played, and so I was just surrounded by music growing up my whole life, and rock was his thing, so that became my thing. He was a rocker also. Yeah. That's really cool because, you know, I mean, he was talking about the 70s. Like, he could have totally been, like, a disco guy. Yes, this is true. Could have been totally different Thank, clothes. Thankfully, that is not the case. <laughs> I love disco. Yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Theodore? Yeah, I just started uh, playing guitar when I was in fifth grade or something. So, and then I just tried drums just one time. So, and I fell in love with that instrument. And then I started playing heavy music first. And then I switched to pop music, you know, so... And, I'm just enjoying. How old were you when you started playing drums? Uh, 16, 17 or so. That's cool. Yeah. How long do you think it takes because to, I mean, drums has probably got the most complicated setup, right? Well, yeah, and expensive, I guess. And the most yeah. expensive. That's what he would argue. <laughs> Have you seen his pedal board, though? <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks, everybody. How long do you think it takes for someone to get, like, good at drums, usually? Week. Mm, it depends. Yeah, <laughs> a week or two. <laughs> <laughs> Ten days, man. Ten days, yeah. There's a special like course, you know, <laughs> ten day course. Crash course. On Crash YouTube. course. Just yeah. learn it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome that you got into drums and. Um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> We're okay well, with it. When he first came in the studio, I was like, "And you're the drummer," and he just started <laughs> smiling. He's like, "Yes, I am the drummer." <laughs> the drummer. He looks like I, a drummer. I am the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys have um, another album coming out soon? We uh, actually recorded. Yeah, this we recorded morning in my drums for a new song. Yeah. We're always writing, pipeline. so we've always yeah. got new stuff mm -hmm. coming, so we're already working on a new batch of stuff. We're, we have some stuff that's recorded that we're going to release, probably you know, some singles. That we'll handful release. of singles in the next coming months. Uh, the next record will definitely be out around February coming. Not this closest to February, but the one following. We've got some work to do. All right, cool. Let's get in there. Awesome. Well, we have to take another quick break, but we'll be right back with State to State. And welcome back to the Red Booth Show. We are here with the band State to State. Um, this is really cool because you guys have a song that you put out with a music video called Arms mm -hmm. and has a special featured backup singer. Uh, uh, yeah. You, are you allowed to talk about that? Yeah. Yeah? It's your turn. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead, Patrick. Uh, we're not so, it was kind of like on a deal, but we, uh, um, Not anymore, it's not. Well, not anymore. <laughs> after this. 
But, but it's so awesome. But you asked. It's, it's so awesome. Cool. I, I, I was going to the studio and I knock on the door and our producer opens the door and says, hey, uh, Steve Perry's in, and they're listening to your stuff. Steve Perry. Yeah, that one. And uh, he's just listening to stuff and I walked in like, oh, Shay's there with him and he's just hanging out and I came to listen to their music and he says, hi, I hear some backing vocal ideas for some stuff. Mind trying some stuff? And we're like, sure. So, no, Steve Perry. You're like, no, no get out. out. No, no don't out the door. destroy our so, record. So <laughs> um, both Shay and I got an opportunity on two songs on this thing to go in the vocal booth and harmonize with Steve Perry with a Telefunk and U47 mic and just like, oh, it's awesome. It's just awesome. It's pretty cool. How did you not like blow, blow your mind while you're in there with I, I, I was all like, how you doing, Steve? And I just walked around the car almost faded. I mean, it was just like, We had to clean up the floor yeah. after you left. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. It was pretty cool. And I remember going jogging and running, listening to the, the first tracks, and just be like, oh, it's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we're not supposed to talk about it, so. Oh, so. well, too bad. <laughs> but anyways, he was the nicest guy, and, you know, just, it was just an unbelievable experience to have that happen. Just, yeah, it's cool. A surreal moment in our musical yeah. experience. That's so random. He just like appeared and was out of nowhere, and then like a, like an angel of, <laughs> of rock, yes, or something. Never stop believing. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So. Well, that's really cool. So, and then you created your music video, which I understand you edited and created. Uh, I did. I, I did it kind of more out of a just an emotional, personal need. Uh, we there just was so much chaos and destruction and innocent people dying that I just couldn't really take it anymore so I needed to do something so we had that song we were going to release it as a single so I just started piecing together the uh, video based on um, uh, clips that I found online that were of uh, public domain so they were accessible and I just kind of pieced the story together from that wow that's really cool I mean just the fact that it you know you're trying to do something because there has been it's been a crazy year mm with um, just insane kind of stuff that you just never would have thought would have happened. Yeah. And I guess that that's a bit about, you know, what that's about, what the song's about, right? Yeah, I mean, the chorus of the song is, is lay down your arms. So in a sense, it's, you know, metaphorically about weaponry, aggression, any kind of, you know, negativity in that sense. So I think it's, it's poignant for the times. Definitely. We definitely need to spread that message, guys. That'd be me. He's the wordsmith. <laughs> I mean, 
just got to do what I can do, right? Are you the main main one that writes most of the lyrics in a band? I, I write all the lyrics, yeah. Okay. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I write pretty much most of the material just from the embryonic stage, but, I mean, without without those guys, it would never take the life that it has. So Totally. That's really cool that you guys all sort of collaborate together. Mm -hmm. um, everyone everyone has their, their purpose, and they serve it to the utmost, so it's, it's a good collaboration. It's a good... Democracy. That's a good yeah. sign. That's a good sign. That's your band will do well. Your band will do well. <laughs> it already is doing well. I mean, you know what I mean, though. Our, our weak link is less obvious than some. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, obviously, it's not that. It's not that much of a weak link because you just pulled some of the most coolest things off to create these songs and to also have Steve Perry be, you know, obviously inspired by your music enough to want to be on your album that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so he's on the chorus of arms so it's pretty and let, yeah. go. And, and let go and you know what guys i didn't even know that when i booked them for the show at all they told me that when they got here and i was like that's even cooler yeah, yeah because their, their music is just really great so. that moment definitely did not suck no. <laughs> well it's inspiring because you do make amazing amazing songs so yeah, I've really been um, happy to have you on the show. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thanks so much. Thanks yeah. for having us in the booth. Totally. Yeah. We finally made it happen. And right before their show on the Echo. So you definitely need to go and watch them um, play live in front of you, which will be amazing. October 12th. 9 p.m. Yes. And also, why don't you guys tell them your social media links, your MySpace and everything. StateToStateBand.com. Uh, and then there's links for everything else after Yeah, after since, that, since so. our band name is State to State, it's easier to click. <laughs> <laughs> state to state band .com. Oh, it's state to state band dot com. Let's see, I'm gonna put there the link is. right there. So, check it out. Check it out right there. <laughs> whoop, whoop. That's right. Do you wanna do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the band State to State on the, the Red, Red Booth. Booth.